What's up everybody, this is Cheese Mr. Poof and welcome you back to Hot Side Friday, a weekly dose of hot stone content on the Cheese Mr. Poof channel and welcome back. I'm feeling great. I've been feeling great too. It's a Friday, we're gonna be checking out the deck that we will be playing today, but before that I'd like to uh, clear some things that went on earlier this week on the channel. Uh, there was no Tamriel Tuesday and that is because we actually got an exclusive spoiler card for the new set that they're doing, Return to Clockwork City. And uh, so Tuesday, when I was supposed to do Tamil Tuesday, I scripted with the guys. Wednesday, we filmed the thing. And Thursday, we got the rest of the resources in. And today, I spent the whole morning editing it. And it's ready now, but we're not publishing it just yet. We're just going to see that everything's fine with it. And yeah, so that's... The announcement, let's just stick out the deck that we will be playing today. And the deck is... Budget Tempo. Now, you're all, you're all probably familiar with the Keliseth Tempo Rogues. They run stuff like Shadow Steps, they have Keliseth, they buff your whole deck, so everything's more powerful. But this takes a bit of a different approach. Uh, this deck has some Jade cards, as you can see. We have the Jade Shurikens, we have the Jade Swarmers, and the Jade Spirits. Now, Jade Shuriken need a combo activator, so we brought the Fireflies, Coldbloods, Backstabs, and Razor Petal Lashers. That can give us the Razor Petals. Uh, other combos we have is SI7 and Defies Ringleader. So we don't run that much combo, but we still have a lot of good activators that are also good cards in their own rights. Then, look at this, 5 drop, 5-5 five, five for 5, and it buffs our other dudes. So yeah, this is just a brilliant card to put in your budget deck, because it's a common 5-5 five, five and it does a lot of things, and it's also in actually competitive decks that have a bigger price tag. So yeah, this card is pretty good. We're also running the Argent Commander, has synergy with Cold Bloods, is also a charge creature, has divine shield, it's pretty good. Bone Mayor, common, another very powerful card in common. So this late game sweep, this is probably gonna carry you pretty far. Also your early game sweep is not that bad either. So I think this deck will do fine, it kinda depends on the matchup as well. But I feel like it has a decent chance to shine. Also, it is a budget build, as you can see. We have commons, basics, and a few rares scattered in there. So this is very cheap to craft if you're looking for a deck to climb the ladder with, but don't have that many resources. This should be pretty good for you. Also, I'm not running any Karazhan cards in here. So you don't even need to own the adventures to craft the deck. You can just craft the commons and rares and you'll be good to go. So yeah, this is the deck. Let's see how it will fare in the ranked ladder. Alright. I, I enjoy being on the coin with this deck because we have some combos. Chuck all those. This looks way better. If he plays a threat that I want to kill, we can just Jade Shuriken on turn one. It's a play. I've seen it done. Can we have a Calm turn 1? Oh yes, I love Calm turn 1s. I might just play this. Doesn't get charged, but... Shaman Hero Power doesn't deal 1 damage, so... I'm okay. That is certainly a card. A card which we can't quite kill. With the amount of mana that we have, so we're just gonna have to hit face, dagger up. Right? Yeah. An interesting turn one, turn two play, Doomsayer there. Must be some kind of a controlly shaman. Oh look, totem. It's a good thing we can kill that. Oh look, jades. So yeah, this this play I like. Is mine. That play I like because we get a jade. Next jade will be 2-2. Two, two. 
We still have the backstab to trigger the SS7. We killed the little guy. Oh my god, another card draw. So yeah, he might have that sweeper, but if he has the sweeper, we have a Jade Swarmer, so that's good. We gotta be careful though, we gotta be real careful. This guy's getting... Getting nutted. I mean, we'll probably play that next turn, so... Get the hidden. So yeah. We have some death rattle insurance. So we get some value even if he wipes the board. That's the thing I like about Jade Swarmers in this deck. They are a dude who spawns a dude. It's pretty good. What the heck? Heck? Yeah, I think this is just an Assassin's Blade turn. Justice is mine. Ah, yeah, Trader Reno hit the face for two. One. This guy's gonna keep getting... He's gonna just stay in the shroud. Get them, boys. It's an evolved shaman. Oh, you got sauce. We officially have sauce on the board. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. One. Well, we're just gonna have to go fight. Justice is mine. Do we summon some Jade? Jade in the ringleader. He will probably have like a board wipe of some kind. Uh, Devolve does some terrible things to me here. Uh, a Wisp. A one drop, one drop, three drop if he doesn't kill it. One drop, and one drop. So yeah, Devolve hurts, uh, Lightning Storm hurts more. Maelstrom? Kinda hurts. Kinda hurts, not gonna lie. <laughs> But something will survive here, right? Yeah. So we can bone mare. What is going face? Another maelstrom? Does he have the second maelstrom? No. In fact, he does not have the second maelstrom. Well, that's all fine and dandy. Because we are going to be bone maring. Justice is mine. Uh, we're just gonna push through these guys. Hit the face. Devolve does give me a six drop. Unless he kills it and then devolves. I mean, he didn't have it last turn. It's possible he doesn't have it this turn. He doesn't want to trade too much though, that's true. Yikes! Second red boozer. That really hoses me here. Jade Lightning! Yep, that's good. Do you kill that? No, he's gonna let me get through the taunt here. Oh! Huh. So like this? This is our town, scrub. Justice is mine. Ha, this guy's tough. Oh, I won. Like that? I mean we push damage. Well played. And we do have Argent Commanders in the deck, so we can go for the charge. Oh yeah, we're at nine. We're at nine. <laughs> I did not look at my life total there. I am a smart man of smart decisions. Let's let's see if we can get there. None can escape my fury. Honestly, I've gone up against a lot of decks that are just, you know, kind of top tier. I mean, they're in the meta. This is a budget deck, so 
it's not really in the meta, but like playing against evolved shamans and aggro druids, not the greatest thing. I mean, a budget deck will still have a tough time, but you have the ability to defeat the high meta decks. You just gotta know what to mulligan, you gotta know what to play. That's an Argent Squire. We don't like the Squire. Ho, ho, ho. Justice is mine. It looks weird, but if he plays something with two health, we can finish it off with the dagger, go backstab, go ringleader. Into a very good turn. Oh, just like that. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's that's great. That is quite awesome. Now Defile kind of hurts this board, but then we're just gonna have to come back with the Razor Petal and the Jade Swarmer. It's not a huge comeback, but it's something. Hey, it's our friend, the Creeper of Tar. So this is a Lasher. This is a Stab. I greet you. Yeah. <laughs> And we face. Defile still kills the board, but the reason I'm not playing the Jade Swarmer in here is... Defile would also kill the Golem. Yep, Hellfire takes care of it, but he does take 3 to the face. Also, yeah, you're getting squelched. This seems like good value. Justice is mine. We can even curve into an Argent Commander, into a Bone Mare. If we are allowed to do that. We can push damage. I mean, the perfect curve with this deck would be some kind of a shenanigans backstab where we get the coin, get the ringleader out there. So many I mean, I guess we sh should maybe cut a Razor Petal Lasher for another 3-drop. Something we can actually play on curve nicely. SI7 agent is kind of like... That's a pretty late Keliseth, man. Oh well. Does Keliseth play Hellfire? I would not know. I don't play Keliseth. We just go face. Justice is mine. Actually, we could do a more stable play of Jade Swarmer, Shuriken. Then we have something to Bone Mare, and then this can be the last piece of damage that we push. Hmm, it's pretty fishy, though. Let's try that. Not gonna hero power. But yeah, now we have a Bone Mare target. So I like that. What the heck is this? Seven mana. A bustle. Fair enough. This is going to hurt. Not necessarily me, but... Okay, we've set them down to four. So now the Argent Square will be enough, unless there's a big taunt. Or life gain. But we still have lethal. Everything's okay. Justice is mine. To our friend. We catch a win with the deck, and it feels pretty good. Just like I intended. We might want a better 3-drop here. 
Okay. Another match. Those are some cold bloods. I'm gonna chuck actually everything here. Hmm, nope. Oh wow. Play this just as a two one. Hail friend. No. We're gonna pass. If he has a creature that we can kill. Ah yes. You are speaking my language. This is our town, scrub. Beat it. Beat it. Feels good. Now we can dagger into South Sea. Wait, two fireflies? Wow, so it's another Keleseth player, I'm assuming. Oh, well, we just have to go face. Okay, another, another thing we could do is this to trigger the combo on Jade Shuriken, but I feel like that's my turn four play of Swarmer Shuriken. So this is just going to be a party in the face. He shouldn't have a one-sided board clear. So I think this is totally fine. Working as intended. Get it out. Get it out. That is a possessed villager. That's what I thought you'd do. Okay. Like this. And face. Justice. Justice. Because next turn we can play the Assassin's Blade. I enjoy the Jade Swarmers. Oh, damn! Well, it's a good thing we have answers. Justice is mine. This kind of sucks. Let's see. We lose a dude, we get a dude, which is quite nice. Ah, that is a Cobalt Scale Bane. So yeah, he's gonna push damage, but so are we. This is going to give me a 3-3. Three, three. It's not going face. Okay. So even if he has a hellfire. Who dares Yikes! Me? Can you kill me? No, that's only 10 damage. You can clear a lot of my dudes. That much is true. Oh, look, a huckster. Hmm. The thing is, do we remove just to get some Death Rail swag? Okay, so how much can he push? What did he discard? Bone Mare, Flame Imp? Think. Okay, so if he gets another Bone Mare... He has 18 damage. It's not enough to kill me. It does give him a big taunt. But it's not enough to kill me. Another Doom Guard is not enough to kill me. Hmm. So I think face is just fine. Bye. Justice is mine. One. You want to buy a funnel cake? Swiftly. Hmm. I could kill this off just to get a jade golem, but if I top deck a cold blood, he will get buffed. 
So that's my play. Bone Mare hurts here. Like I said, Bone Mare hurts here. But he's still gonna have to do this, which gives me cards. Not the best cards. <laughs> Huh. Justice is mine. Why it's so Then he has ten. So wait no no no. I almost mathed that wrong. Oh yeah, I already attacked. Damn. He only needs three damage. It's not hard to come by with Warlock. That's not it. That's not it. South Sea Deckhand, that's nice, that's nice. Again, he has ten damage. <laughs> Okay. Total corruption. Total power. Now, do we use the South Sea to kill the 5 1 and then hope he doesn't get Wind Fury on the Vicious Fledgling? I think that's our best bet. He has no more Bone Mares in the deck. And I can't take 5 to the face at this point because it's, it's really dangerous. I wonder. It's a shame that we missed two damage. But this is the only way. Okay. We can still win. We still have a chance. A good chance. He's even life tapping. Scale Bane does not do it. Did we win? He can get taunt on the fledgling. Wind Fury? Taunt? Yeah. It doesn't save him. That was a really fucking clutch match! But hey! Look, Jade Golem's got way up to five fives. Okay. Those were some pretty good matches in my opinion. Uh, let's actually take a look at the deck. See if we could put in some more stuff. Mainly in the three drop area. Okay, Deadly Fork. If you have Karazhan, I definitely recommend you take out the SI7 agents. Yes, you heard me. Take them out. Put in Deadly Forks because it's a 3-2 body that gives you a 3-2 weapon and that's a lot of value and you want value in this deck. Not Shadow Blade. Not a big fan. Because Deadly Fork gives you a 3-2 weapon. The only thing is you, you're not immune this turn and that's only the one turn you play this, so... Deadly Fork. Deadly Fork goes into this deck. 100% of the time. If you have Karazhan. Okay, neutral tr three drops. This would be okay. But we're not running Cthune. Eggnappers, one toughness is a bit too shaky. This freezes your other minions, and we want to have other minions on the board by that point in the game. Uh, Tar Creeper might actually be. Okay to put in. It's also... I think this also goes in the 3-drop slot because it protects your smaller dudes. It's also a 3-5, not on your turn, but you still have it there to protect your dudes. You're gonna want to push through that. So that's cool. Wouldn't put in Stone Hills in a rogue-type deck, really. Here's something you 
could consider for the 3-drop slot. Vicious Fledgling, if you can protect it somehow. Thunder Lizard. If you find a way to jam a 2-drop elemental in here. You could change this up to be some kind of a almost elemental, because we do have the Fireflies in here. Which work pretty fine. We have Jade Spirit, who also triggers Thunder Lizard. And I really like this card. It's a shame it can't have a very consistent uh, play record, because the fact that it's a beast and it needs the elementals. But I really like it. Uh, Zubot does nothing in this deck. <laughs> Wolf Rider is charged, but that would be more aggro-ish than what we're trying to do. So yeah, Thunder Lizard I would actually want to experiment on. Let's see if there's any good 2-drop elemental we could put in. I don't think there is. Volatile Elemental is not what you want to be playing in this type of deck. And there's no rogue? Yep. Unfortunately, there's no good Elemental 2-drop you can put in. But if you could find a good Elemental 2-drop, I'd definitely put in the Thunder Lizard instead of the SI7 Agent. For now, it stays in the build. And that's all for this week. I'm your host, Cheese Mr. Pooh. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more card game content like this, like the video, drop a comment down below, share it, all that fun stuff, and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one.